Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about the second problem given in signals and systems in GATE 2019 for ECA branch. The question goes like this, it is given that H of Z is the Z transform of H of N. So these two will form a Fourier uh, Z transform pair and it is given that if P of Z is equal to H of Z into H of 1 by Z and one of the zero is at uh, this location and uh, if p of z has four zeros then we need to represent these zeros in the pole zero diagram okay so but uh, before we start solving this problem so let us recall the properties so one of the important property which we are interested in is time reversal which says that if h of n has h of z as the z transform then h of minus n will have h of 1 by z as the z transform similarly the convolution property of the z transform says that if x of n has x of z as a z transform and h of n has h of z as a z transform then the convolution operation in time domain corresponds to multiplication in z domain okay so we will use these two properties so if you look at the given p of z here it is nothing but the multiplication of two functions one is h of z and another one is h of 1 by z so clearly in time domain this should corresponds to convolution of h of n with h of minus n so that p of n is equal to convolution of h of n and h of minus 1 so if you pay little bit attention so this is nothing but the autocorrelation function of h of n so this is autocorrelation function of h of n now if h of n is real then one of the property of the transform is h of z should be equal to h star of z star and hence it says that if p1 is a pole or zero then definitely p1 star also should be a pole or zero and similarly if h of n is even if h of n is even then according to time reversal property we can easily see that h of z should be equal to h of 1 by z so this implies that if p1 is a pole or zero then definitely 1 by p1 also should be a pole or zero now it is as we have found out that as as it is given that h of n is real okay h of n is real and p of n is auto correlation function so this definitely is an even function so we have in signals and systems we have seen that so this autocorrelation function is an even function so because h of n is real then h of minus n is also real and the convolution of two real signals is also real so and hence p of n turns out to be real and even because p of n is real and even then definitely p of z should be equal to p star of z star which is and it should be equal to p of 1 by z so from this we can easily see that if p1 is a pole or zero then 1 by p1 also should be a pole or zero similarly if and also p1 star and 1 by p1 star are also they, they also will become the poles and zeros so let us come back to the problem so it is given that we have a zero at 1 by 2 plus j by 2 so definitely because p of n we have a z, uh, p, uh, p of z definitely should have a four zeros and these four zeros will look like this okay so let us consider this as a unit circle and this with the real and imaginary axis so first it is given that z1 is a zero so according to this property so definitely z1 1 by z1 also should be a pole or oh, 1 by z1 also should be a zero so we, simple algebra will say that 1 by z1 is nothing but 1 minus j similarly because z1 is a zero so definitely z1 star also should be a zero so z1 star is nothing but 1 by 2 minus j by 2 so similarly because z1 star is a zero similarly 1 by z1 star also should be a zero and hence we will have a four zeros given by z1 
which is one plus j by two and one by z2 which is 1 by z1 which is 1 minus j we will have one more zero which is z1 star which is 1 by 2 minus j by 2 and finally we will have final zero which is z4 which is equal to 1 by z1 star which is equal to 1 plus j okay which is by simple algebra we can find this values okay so in this way the p of z will have four zeros in the pole zero diagram Hopefully you have understood this problem. Thank you.